Hey maker, that mom with a laser here, and today I'm spending the day doing a nice deep cleaning on my machine. The busy season is here, and I really wanna get everything in tip top shape before I start producing products like a mad woman. So I'm just gonna take you through the process with me of what it's like to clean your honeycomb tray, the blades underneath, my optics, wiping everything down, changing out the water, you name it, we're gonna cover it all today. You ready? Let's go. I'm gonna start by taking my compartment key and opening up my access door. Then I'm going to carefully remove the honeycomb tray. My blades and tray have a lot of residue buildup, so as you can see, it's definitely time to give them a nice cleaning. To remove the blades, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some gloves because these things are pretty nasty. And then I'm gonna lower the laser bed as low as I can. Then I'm gonna use a plastic storage container to help me keep the blades in the same order that I removed them from the tray. I don't really know if this matters, but I don't feel like wasting time figuring it out later if it does. Okay, so now I have them all in order the way they go in the machine and you can see they get, some of them get really dirty, the ones that are in the middle underneath and that's not fun to rub off. So my plan, and I hope it works, is I'm just gonna take Totally Awesome. You can get this at the dollar store, but I knew I wanted a lot today. So I went and I got this from Home Depot and I wanna say it was like seven, seven bucks, something like that. So I'm just basically gonna create <laughs> you know, a bath here of Totally Awesome, and I'm gonna let it soak up. And uh, after a little while, I'll come here and hopefully it'll be easy to rub it all off. Actually, you can see how quickly it's already um, starting to come off, which less muscle work for me is better. I didn't think I would use this whole jug, but I am gonna use this Totally Awesome on the honeycomb tray, so it's not a total waste. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them flat so that everything is covered and I don't have to do too much work. I'll come over later and I'll clean it all up or wipe it all down. Wow, I am honestly impressed. It hasn't even been 10 minutes and these look like, look, even the bottom is thick and span. I can't believe this. I just showed this to one of my subscribers and she said it took her two hours to clean her blades. And so this is probably a total of 15 minutes. I, I don't know, pull them out, put them in the bin let them sit for a few minutes and now I'm just gonna kinda, I'm, cause I'm gonna use this totally awesome later. So I'm just gonna, whoop, oh, okay, don't do that. There's, <laughs> okay, so there's holes in between <laughs> and the blades are hollow. So I am just gonna go ahead and wipe them all down and let them dry and put them back in my machine. Look at that, brand new, love it. do this with the honeycomb tray, but I have not been able to find a bin that it fits in for the life of me. However, after I did this, one of my friends online suggested using a kennel tray, which is genius. So I'm totally going to do that next time. So I came in my garage, I found this box. It's the perfect size. And so I'm going to try, I hope the totally awesome doesn't disintegrate this, but this is like a, a thin plastic. You use it for when you're remodeling a bathroom or you're painting. And I have lined the bottom with it. And then I have also taped use some duct tape to tape the plastic onto it. And so the idea is I'm gonna pour the Totally Awesome, let it soak for a few minutes, hopefully it does the job, and then we'll clean off the rest with the pressure cleaner. Normally I would do this on the grass, but in this house, the grass is hallowed ground. We do not touch the lawn in this home. Isn't that right, honey? That's right. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the Totally Awesome, let it soak, and hopefully um, it's not a total disaster. So let's go. So I'm just gonna take the Totally Awesome that I used when cleaning my blades and reuse it on top of the honeycomb tray. And then I just kind of wiggled it back and forth in the box to make sure that everything got ample coverage. Okay, so it's less than 10 minutes and I can already tell this has cleaned off significantly more than the first time I tried this a few months ago. So now we're gonna, as you can see, it's really nasty in here. <laughs> Um, but fortunately it's worked, it didn't disintegrate, so that's cool. And now I'm gonna take a pressure cleaner to it and hopefully get the rest of it off. If you 
watched my video the first time I cleaned this, it took me a whole weekend. This whole process is maybe two hours tops, including cleaning the blades. So now what I'm going to do to let it dry is, you know, every 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to rotate it just so that anything that's stuck in these edges will, you know, pull out because I don't want to risk damaging or letting it rust or anything like that. So I'm going to let it dry, come out here every couple of minutes, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so my buddy Matthew, he recommended using a pressure blower, but I don't have that. I do, however, have a lawn blower. line now I just need to clean up all these bits and pieces I'm going to use the handheld portion to my uh, vacuum cleaner some people just use a dust buster but I don't have one and I'm also going to use I'm going to keep using totally awesome and I am going to use this to remove all of the gunky residue that is you know on this tray yuck and then I'm also going to go ahead and clean up the residue buildup that's back here and Fortunately, you know, the rails are, are kept pretty clean because of the design. So I'll just do like a nice little wipe through and then I will focus on cleaning my autofocus sensor, which is this little doohickey right here, my nozzle, my mirrors and my lens that's inside this casing. So let's get to it. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, um, or at least that's, that's as good as it's going to get for me. And so now I'm going to take just some alcohol and a new rag, and like I said, I'm going to wipe everything down, get all of this dirt and dust off of my beautiful machine, wipe down everywhere, and then it'll be time to clean this over here. Now it's time to clean out my water. So I'm gonna take this water spout and plug it in so I can drain everything. Once the water has drained, I'll remove the spout and I'll use a funnel to put fresh, clean, distilled water into my chiller. Slowly pour the water in until it reaches the fill line. Now I'll screw the cap on and move on. The last thing I'm gonna do today is clean my optics and my nozzle. I already have a video on how to clean the mirrors properly, so I'll link that in the description box below. My machine is now in tip-top shape for the holiday season. The only thing that I didn't clean today was my hose and my fan, and that's only because I recently did that, so it's not time to clean them. However, here's a photo of how dirty it got the last time I had to clean it. 
How often you clean your hose and your fan will very much depend on how often you're using your machine. But at the very least, you'll want to clean them probably around every six months or so. That's it for today, guys. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know below. And if you don't follow me on social media, please do so. And I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a laser. Here, you... Oh, am I supposed to hold the button? Is that why? Just keep pulling it, huh? <laughs> pull straight up. Put it on the ground. Put it on the ground and pull straight up. Do I need to hold the button? Yes. I wasn't holding the button. Okay. <laughs>